Hey YouTube, it's me, John Avenger, once again, and welcome back to Movies with Colors in the Title. And guess what? I bought this new doll from Alice to the Looking Glass. Time, the guy that was the Russian villain from uh, Alice to the Looking Glass, played by Sasha Baron Cohen. Look how awesome that in detail that doll is. I got this doll, I'm not kidding, at Toys R Us in clearance for $3, brand new. And I think he's an underrated, misunderstood villain. I think, you know, it's time to review a movie, right? Time. Hey, I'll take him over Kylo Ren any day. There, I said it. I know my friends are not a big fan of this movie, but this villain, this side villain, is way more threatening than freaking Kylo Ren. Because at least he, he doesn't throw a hissy fit. He doesn't, he's not a whiny bitch. He's not emo. And the actor's way better. I like Adam Driver, but... He deserves better. But this is not about Last Jedi. This is about a 1999 buddy cop movie from, uh, you know, uh, starring Martin Lawrence, Blue Streak. Yeah, a movie with the a movie with the color blue in it. Basically, the premise is really simple. Uh, there's a 17 million dollar diamond heist that uh, Martin Lawrence goes with a bunch of guys. Him and Dave Chappelle. They hide a diamond inside of a building. And a bunch of time passes by, and they're looking for the diamond, and they said, they're like, oh my god, they 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 hit it inside of a police station. That is a really cool premise, and yes, this movie is a remake. You don't have to tell me in the comments. It's a remake of a British film I never heard of called The Big Job. But I think it's better because, hey, America, hell yeah. You know, this is what I, this is what I live for. Plus, it's Black History Month, so this movie was perfect for this month. This is a fun movie. I don't have this on DVD because it's hard to find. Uh, you have to go to like different places to find it because it's a movie that's, I think, out of print. And Martin Lawrence hasn't done a big movie in a while. I miss him. Uh, I like Will Smith. I like him. I liked him in Bad Boys. I like this movie. I liked his TV show from the 90s, Martin. That was a hilarious show. I even like his kids' movies like Open Season and College Road Trip. He's just a really fun actor. No, I haven't seen the big Mama's House films because that just wasn't for me. I'll see them eventually, but I'd rather see this. This movie is hilarious. Him and Dave Chappelle have great chemistry. You know, Chappelle's not in the whole film. He's just a supporting character. You also have Luke Wilson, who I really enjoy. I like him in Idiocracy. He does this. And Kathleen Kennedy can take that and shove it and blow me. Just to say that. I had to get that out. But anyway... Um, he does that, and he I was good in Idiocracy. I like him in My Super Ex-Girlfriend. Him and his brother, Owen Wilson, are good actors, you know, separate and together. Um, he, he has good chemistry with Martin Lawrence. He's, you know, the straight guy. He doesn't really do that much jokes, but Martin rips on him because he pretends to be a cop just so he can get the diamond back. But it's a cool premise because he, it reminds me a lot of Beverly Hills Cop, except he's not a cop. He's pretending to be a cop. So he could get all the perks and whatever and just get, you know, access to the building so he could get the diamonds back. And it's interesting. Like, it's really funny. It's not two hours long. It's PG-13, so it, it, it's not, it's more kid-friendly than Beverly Hills Cop 1, 2, 3. And um, Martin has a lot of energy in the movie. There's a scene that he dresses up as a pizza guy. He has a suit like this. And he has like an afro. It's hilarious. He's like, I don't want to give the pizza to Shamu over there. And I'm like, <laughs> oh God. Martin Lawrence is so underrated. He's such a funny guy. I'll take him over Kevin Hart because he is has never made me laugh. This guy, well, in, in Fool's Gold, he gets his ass kicked. That was fun. But uh, I like Martin a lot better. It's like, oh, I'll talk like this, man. I even like Rebound. He's a, It's a sports movie he did with a bunch of kids. I want to review that in March, hopefully. Yeah, he's just a fun actor. I love, I love uh, the fact that he, he's done a lot of films that I enjoy. He's a he's a, he's a good lead in this movie without Will Smith. Um, there's a scene that, uh, th th you know, that that I remember with Dave Chappelle's like, I'm gonna rip your lips off and you're gonna kiss my ass and I'm gonna lift your tongue off and you can lick my balls. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, he's just he's great in the movie too. He 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 carries a lot of weight to him. And uh, there's a scene that, they, that he shoots uh, the guy that was uh, the main villain in Home Alone 3. He's like some Polish actor or whatever. He gets shot in the foot. <laughs> oh, my God. It cracks me up because, you know, it, it's just, you know, the racial tension, it, it works in this movie. It just it, just thinking about it makes me laugh. There's a scene where Martin's in a chase scene and he sees a girl. She drops her towel. He's like, damn. I'm <laughs> like, yeah. They don't show anything, but, you know, because it's PG-13, but... This is a fun PG-13. 
It's fast paced. It's very funny. Uh, Martin just just steals the film. I have to see this movie again. It's been too long. I haven't seen this movie since the two thousands, and it just cracks me up, man. Just thinking about it, it get, it puts a smile on my face. The ending where they're in the border of Mexico, and he's like, "Oh yeah, um, I'm I'm Mexican on my mother's side, on my mother or father's side, or whatever," and he's like, "Tango lo." Los, uh, something in the pantalones. He says something in Spanish uh, that he has something in his pants. That was kind of funny. I, I like that, even though I'm not a fan of that location. But it's still a funny movie. Like, if you want a good laugh this uh, during the winter, it's a very funny film from the 90s. I think it's, it's you know, it's, it's very, very lighthearted. It's not as dark as other comedies. It has a good energy about it. There's a lot of funny scenes. There's a scene where... A cop is in the bathroom, and not in the bathroom. He's uh, in his office, and he uses like a cream to, to to because he has an itch in his crotch. And then when he's trying to shake hands with Martin, Martin like hooks. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Yeah, see, just the timing is just it's there. I'm glad this movie was a huge hit. It's amazing that this does not get a sequel because it's a very funny movie, and uh, you know Martin just he's on fire in this movie. It's one of his best films, in my opinion, from the '90s with him as a lead by himself. And uh, like I said, this could, this can kick the crap out of Cop Out and Ride Along and Ride Along 2 and any movie that Kevin Hart's ever done as a lead. Just saying, this movie's way funnier. It's got an energy to it. It's not boring. Even the scenes with the, with the, with the cops, it just, it makes me laugh. The soundtrack is really good. I heard this got a, a platinum album, uh, uh, you know, award for, the soundtrack, it deserves it. You got Ja Rule there, got Jay Z, you got awesome freaking rap from the from the nineties, and it's well done. And I miss buddy cop movies like this. I'm sorry. Cop Out was the was the start of the decline of that genre. And uh it's a it's a damn shame that we don't have any more of these. Cause the nice guys I've heard it was a good movie, but it flopped. And yeah, it's it ends with two white guys. But here you got a black guy and a white guy, and it works. I think I I would even say this is funnier than Lethal Weapon 4. I like Lethal Weapon 4, but I like this movie more. I got to get this on DVD. I don't think it has a Blu-ray. It's very, very entertaining. It's very witty, dialogue heavy, but it's fun. It has a good lead actor that's trying. Luke Wilson is a good straight man for, for Martin's, you know, the, the comic relief. Uh, the, the action sequences are well done when it's there. It's more of a comedy than an action film, but when the action's there, it's pretty well done, and it makes me laugh. So that's all I can say about Blue Streak. There are some flaws. There's some characters in the movie. I think Nick, Nick, Nicole Ari Parker's in it, but I don't remember her in the film that much. It's a beautiful actress, by the way, but I don't remember her in the film. But I'm glad she didn't bog the movie down because sometimes they put a love interest that just makes the movie unbearable, like Cop Out. Like the Spanish girl in that I, annoyed me. I already was annoyed with Tracy Morgan in that. Here, no, Martin Lawrence doesn't annoy me. He he makes me laugh my ass off. Maybe because he still had that rapid fire energy from the Martin TV show and from Bad Boys 1. So I like him. I know a lot of people say he can't act. I think he's way better than Kevin Hart. I just think he is. He is way funnier. He's not he can be over the top, but he can be do it in a way that's not grating my nerves. And that's why this movie I wanted to review it finally. A 1999 American buddy comedy, buddy action film that is really well done. Action comedy, that is. And, uh, yeah, it's held up. I, I want to see this again. It's been too long. And just thinking about the movie makes me laugh. That's something that a comedy hasn't done in a long time, especially in this decade. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you do see Blue Streak. It's a very fun movie. Don't put logic into it. This is not Fast and the Furious. This is Blue Streak. It's a 90s co action comedy. And it works. The comedy just, just flows very well. It's not two hours long. And uh, it has a very good pacing. And, you know, just Martin just cracks me up every step of the way. So thanks, guys, for watching. Take care. And I'll see you in the next review.